Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to use the wave equation to calculate the speed of a wave. You should then be able to discover a method to measure the speed of sound waves in air. In the last video we looked at three important properties of waves. These are the amplitude, the wavelength and the frequency. Remember that the amplitude is the furthest point the wave vibrates from the undisturbed position. The wavelength is a distance from a point on one wave to the equivalent point on the adjacent wave. And the frequency is the number of waves passing a point each second. And the unit of frequency is the hertz. Remember that one hertz is one wave per second. Now there is one other key property of waves and that's the speed. The wave speed is the speed at which the wave moves through the medium. In other words, the speed at which energy is transferred. And we can calculate wave speed using this equation. The wave speed in meters per second equals the frequency in hertz multiplied by the wavelength in meters. And you're not given this equation in the exam, so you need to learn it. I'm showing you the triangle of this equation here, and again, it's worth learning this. OK, so let's take a look at some sample questions. Here's the first one. A wave has a frequency of 165 hertz and a wavelength of 2 meters. Calculate the speed of the wave. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, so this is a fairly straightforward question. We're given the frequency and the wavelength and we've got to calculate the speed. So the wave speed equals the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. The frequency is 165 hertz and the wavelength is 2 meters. Multiplying 165 by 2 gives us a wave speed of 330 meters per second. Here's another question for you. A wave has a frequency of 10,000 hertz and a wavelength of 2 centimeters. Calculate the speed of the wave. So again, pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, so the question tells us that the frequency is 10,000 hertz and the wavelength is 2 centimeters. And again, we've got to calculate the wave speed. However, in this case, there's a problem. Remember that the wavelength must be in meters. So first, we've got to convert 2 centimeters into meters by dividing by 100. 2 centimeters is 0.02 meters. Now we can use the wave equation to calculate the wave speed. The frequency is 10,000 hertz and the wavelength is 0.02 meters. Multiplying these together gives us a wave speed of 200 meters per second. Here's a final question for you. A wave has a speed of 500 meters per second and a frequency of 200 hertz. Calculate the wavelength. Now, to answer this question, you'll need to rearrange the wave equation for wavelength. Or if you prefer, you can simply use a triangle. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, so we're calculating the wavelength. To do this, we need to divide the wave speed by the frequency. The wave speed is 500 meters per second, and the frequency is 200 hertz. Dividing 500 by 200 gives us a wavelength of 2.5 meters. Now in the exam, you could be asked to discover a method to measure the speed of sound waves in air. I'm showing you here two people separated by a distance of 500 meters. Person A is holding a pair of cymbals, and person B is holding a timer. Person B starts timing when she sees person A clash the cymbals together. Person B then stops timing when she hears the sound of the cymbals clashing. We can then calculate the speed of the sound waves by dividing the distance travelled by the time taken. Now, there are a couple of problems with this experiment. Firstly, every person has a different reaction time. It takes a fraction of a second between seeing the cymbals and starting the timer. It also takes a fraction of a second between hearing the sound and stopping the timer. Now we can reduce this error by having a large number of observers with timers. We take all of their results and discard any that are anomalous. We then calculate a mean value. Now the second problem is that the time between seeing the symbols clash and hearing the sound is very short indeed. That makes it very difficult to press the timer at the correct times. We can reduce that problem by increasing the distance between person A and person B. The longer the distance, the longer the time. That makes it easier to start and stop the timer at the correct times. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the wave equation and determining the speed of sound waves in my vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.